Eggplant. Parmesan. Garlic powder, butter, oil, and almond flour. We're going to make some eggplant. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to slice it. All right. Um, I'm going to slice it and then I'm going to slice them in half so we can get a little bit more. Um, well, that's because Lizzie wants them in pieces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to salt them. Then we have to let them rest for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm doing. Check it out. That is like so good. It has been years since I made an eggplant. So I decided instead of doing it the normal way, which is just do it in an egg wash and then bread it and fry it, I decided to look something up on Pinterest. So I found a low carb version of chick or um, eggplant parm that we are going to work with today. So, okay guys, I think, um, I think I can get one more slice out of this. What are you guys saying? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, yeah. are probably going to be uneven slices. Okay. I figure because this is technically a side dish. I've got um, some pork shoulder blade that I'm going to cook along with our dinner tonight. But I wanted to do a video on that plant. So this technically takes about an hour. So while, yep. Okay. All right, so I went ahead and I got a, a baking pan out so I can just lay these on here real quick. Um, so, yup, so we're just going to, I think this is enough room. I hope it's enough room. I'll try and make it fit. Do -do -do -do. Because right now all I'm doing is going to just get them so I can season them. Ah, that... Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of bag plant. <laughs> um. Let's see. I can make it fit somehow. Okay. Okay, and then I'm supposed to salt them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit of salt. It called for like one tablespoon or something, but I'm just gonna go like that. Okay, so these have to sit for 30 minutes and set for 30 minutes. And then afterwards I need to get a paper towel and blot them. So I'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, while that is setting, resting, 
I figured I would go ahead and start making the mixture. So the mixture um, is the almond flour, one cup, and then one cup of Parmesan cheese, and then two tablespoons of the garlic powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that going together. I'm using my um, perfect portion containers for this because, well, because I wanted to. <laughs> so they're one cup and then it's two tablespoons of garlic powder. Okay, well, and then you just whisk it all together. Okay, that's roughly about two tablespoons. Other ingredients you are going to need that I haven't pulled out of the fridge yet is an egg. So make sure it's one large egg. Knowing me, I'll probably do two, but it's only used to dip those into. Okay. So. Okay, we got about 20 minutes until these will be ready. Okay guys, I'm sorry if this is a bad angle, but I'm dealing with limited kitchen space because my kitchen's so darn small, you guys know that. Okay, so 30 minutes is up, and it says to blot them a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. One thing I forgot to do, uh, that I need to do real quick is, well, first off, I need to move this here. That needs to be Pretty sure I'm done with this. Now, how did that get over there? You need a, you need a large skillet. Let's go ahead and get that over here. Okay. With a large skillet, the instructions are to heat the pan to a medium heat. One to two tablespoons or yeah, one to two spoons of butter. And half a cup of oil. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Well. This butter is already melted. Let's go put some butter in there. I'm gonna put this away. I'm sorry, guys. So let's go ahead and get the oil up in there. some more room in this kitchen. Lizzie was supposed to do all of this, but she's informed me that she doesn't want to clean the kitchen. So guess what? That's okay. Mom got this, right? Mom got everything. Okay. Not sure why it tells me to do that. I'm doing this for the first time ever. So. Okay, so now that that's heating, Be 
right back, guys. Be right back. I just want to check something. Okay, so you just want to do this until they're brown and crispy. Okay, so you're going to do... I'm going to turn that down just a little bit, knowing my luck. Okay, first you're going to do the egg wash. Just run it through there and make sure you get all the um, excess off. And then just like that. Cut it pretty good. And you put it into the batter. Right, so you want to see it's in here. And I got it pretty well. There's one in there. Oh, this does get messy. <laughs> oh my goodness, but I think they're gonna turn out really good. You know? Look at my fingers. And then you just continue doing this until you got them all in there. You may have to do like two batches. And that's okay. All right, so let me see if I can put that down. There we go, guys. I'm sorry if this thing's in the way. I'm going to do it. fingers we oh, hear the sizzle hi Lizzie okay and then what you also want to have over there if you can't see it um, you want to have a paper towel lined plate so you can um, Lay them on there to dry out a little bit. Okay. And this, just gonna do like one or two more, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when they're all done. Okay, so as I was saying, just in case, I'm not sure if I already said it or not, you want to do it on each side until they are brown and crispy. So, and I did just turn this down some, so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe turn it up just a little bit, cause I can notice it's not. What are you doing, Elizabeth? Uh, my messy fingers. My messy fingers? Green brain. Haha. <laughs> Yes. I'm a little nervous to be 18. You're nervous to be 18. She's going to be 18 in a couple of days. Okay, yeah, almost. What? What? Okay, so we're going to start off with those. Those first. Yep. Yeah. You see how it goes? We'll let you know. Okay. It looks like they may be ready to be turned, so I'm going to go ahead and turn them. Ooh, this is a little brown on this side. And that one. Okay, that one's not, but that's okay. I might have breaded it or put too much on it. Let's check that out. Look how brown that is. You guys see that? I know I have you guys over on the other side, but I didn't want it to get splatter all over my phone. Okay. Okay, so when these get done, they're gonna go over here to the uh, plate with the paper towels on it. Okay, so I flipped them back over for another minute or so because the other side didn't look as crispy as 
I think it should look. It just didn't look, you know, I want to crisp it up a little bit more and see what it looks like. So I'm going to do that side for another like one or two minutes and then I'm going to do the rest of these and you'll see what the finished product is or close to the finished product. I have another idea that I'm going to add to it. So, and I'll show you guys that when I get to that step. All right, guys, this is the finished product with them in the frying pan. Second and third batch came out better, a little bit crispier. Um, when you're slicing the um, eggplant, make sure you give it, you know, some thick slicing because that way it holds together better. I'm going to... Um, um, I'm going to let these sit for just a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to put them onto a baking sheet and throw some cheese over them and bake them for a few minutes. And that will be the finished product. Okay. It is time to cheese them up a little. Oh, my child has already been in this. daughter do this morning? What did you do with this? What did you do to this bag of cheese? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Just gonna cheese them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, that, that piece got a little melted together. Okay. Just stick that right on that one. is supposed to be for something else, but I'm getting creative. I might as well show you guys what I'm doing for dinner while this is doing this little thing. This is only going to need like maybe a couple minutes to bake. I don't even know if I want to put any on that. <laughs> I'm trying. Lizzie, what were you doing with this cheese earlier? Huh? Mind telling me? Of course not. What? Oh, you got into it yesterday? You mean after I bought it? After I told him not to get into it? Okay, so I set the timer at three, or the, the temp at 350. The biggest baking sheet I have. In there. I'm gonna say like 10 minutes. grill a lot so I use my forming grill a lot so I put this thing in the dishwasher earlier today and it just left a nasty film all over it from the dishwasher detergent so I had rewashed it and it just dried We're doing we're doing some pork steaks that's got some turmeric on them and some garden vegetable seasoning by Mrs. Dash.
transforming girl normally heats up in like less than five minutes. I'll be back. Look what's done. Did it good? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring them up closer for y'all to see. I just pulled them out. I've got some other stuff on the forming grill. I got my uh, pork steaks on the forming grill. But this is the finished product with my ketogenic eggplant. <clears throat> now, Lizzie most likely will not eat these without some spaghetti sauce on them. So, some of these will have some spaghetti sauce on them. And some of them will just be like this. But, yep, yeah, so that is it. I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking up my pork steaks and we're gonna have ourselves some dinner it's eight o'clock at night we're having a late dinner because we had a late you know we got home late from doing doordash stuff so all right guys so that is going to be it let me go ahead and bring it back up on me here that's gonna be it all right i'm gonna taste test these here in just a moment so you will see me doing that but pretty much that's it so if you guys like what you saw feel free to hit the like subscribe share and comment and don't forget to hit the notification bell and you never know what's gonna come next all right guys i will talk to you guys later okay you guys ready to watch me eat one i'm breaking one up we're trying to all right let's try this I even got some of the caked on cheese. <laughs> no, wait, let me take that off. Okay, so here's some of the eggplant. Mmm. Not bad. But then again, I love eggplant. So here's my way to enjoy eggplant without having to have it breaded. It's just falling apart, this one piece. The rest of the piece I was trying to eat. Haha. Mm-hmm. Hot. <laughs> mm. Definitely good. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Still chewing. <laughs> yep, I love it. All right, guys, bye. Lizzie's plate. My plate. See, there's some difference. Bye-bye, I have to go eat.